At some point, you're probably gonna to wanna to connect your laptop to your CDE panel. We're gonna start with a simple way, which is just plugging it directly in with HDMI. Now the HDMI ports are behind the panel on the bottom left. You can see the cord coming out here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my laptop in using the HDMI. Now the panel should automatically detect the change in connection and switch inputs. If it doesn't, we can always use our remote and go to the input switch and choose HDMI 1. Now, a lot of laptops, such as Windows, will automatically adjust the resolution to match the board. Mac, however, sometimes will mismatch the resolution and it will try to create this huge screen and so you can see everything is really zoomed out. The best way to take care of this is to go under your display options and then choose the display settings. From the display settings, you can do scaled and we can actually make the text bigger. So you can see here, the resolution has been kept. It's still 4K when we're plugged in with HDMI, but now I'm able to optimize it or make it zoomed in. And then of course I can display and show whatever is on my computer. Another way we can connect is through casting. Earlier I mentioned we had this tool here called display. This is again is good for guests, or if you have a device that's not on the same network as the board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my remote to select display and open it. Now you'll notice that when display is open, it's going to show a URL, a display code, and a one-time passcode. The URL is what you wanna type in on your website, which I've already typed in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter that display code. Now the display code is unique to the board. It will constantly stay the same. So the next time you go to this website, it will remember the display code so you can just select it from the list. What does change for security reasons is the one-time passcode. You can see there it resets every 30 seconds. So once this resets, it's 0961. I can choose present. Now, when you're presenting this way, you will get a share screen that allows you to share your entire screen, a specific window, or a specific tab. Now, if you're trying to share audio, maybe you have a video that you wanna play, it's very important that you select the tab. That allows you to share audio. If you choose window or full screen, it will not share the audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my full screen here. And you'll see right now, it's showing me uh, the My View Board Display window. This allows me to pause or stop my presentation, or I can go ahead here and switch to whatever uh, device that I want to show or display. Now, one thing to note about when you're casting with display, uh, this is a lower resolution. So you'll get 1080p versus 4K when you're hardwired. Another way we can cast is using the vCast receiver tool. So again, with my remote, I'm gonna navigate over to it and open it. Now you'll notice two things. One, we see a display code and we also see what's called the board name. The board name is important. Now, if this is your first time using vCast Receiver, you actually need an app on your device in order to cast if you're using a MacBook, uh, a Windows laptop, or a Chromebook. We'll talk about iPads in just a second because they cast a little bit differently. Now, if you don't have the vCast Sender app, what you need to do using your remote, navigate down to this white bar where it says tap here for first use. You can see when I select it, it kind of turns a, a teal color. I'm gonna select that, it's gonna open this bar and you'll see here, there are two important steps. Step one, make sure your device is on the same network as the board. If it's not on the same network, this will not work. The second step is to download the vCast Sender app. So if you go to this URL that's being displayed on your board, it will allow you to download the app for your laptop, uh, if you have a MacBook, Windows, or a Chromebook. Now I'm gonna press the back button that will close or take me back to the beginning here. And let's go ahead and cast. Now, when I'm casting with my MacBook, right, I open up that vCast Sender app and I type in the pin code that's being displayed. But if I'm casting from an iPad, I actually use the screen mirroring option. I'm just using AirPlay only. So what I do is I swipe down from the top right, go to my screen mirroring menu, choose the device name from the list. Remember, this device is called Cast 1614, and I can see that in my list under screen mirroring. Now, what this is gonna do is it's going to display an AirPlay passcode. You can see it popped up there, 7715. I type that into my iPad. 
give it a second to sync up. And now you can see my iPad is mirroring up here. And this is great because I can open a tool like my viewboard whiteboard and I can start annotating on it wirelessly like this. At any time, if I want to disconnect, all I have to do is disable screen mirroring on my device, or you'll notice there's an X in the bottom right corner. Again, using your remote, if you navigate over to the X, you can see it's selected. And if I press OK, it will disconnect me and return me back to this screen. Now, a couple quick useful things about Vcast. You'll notice if I use my remote and I navigate over to the right, I get this teal color and it selects this icon here, which looks like a big rectangle with smaller rectangles underneath it. What this is, is this is the uh, grouping button. And so what I can do here is I can actually go through and group multiple displays together. This is especially important if you have multiple displays in one room and you want them all to mirror uh, what is being presented. Now, next to that are the settings button. In the settings, we can go in and do things like change the board name. Maybe you don't want it to be CAS 1614, or I recommend enabling this where it says pen code visible. What this does is it puts the pen code in the top right corner of the board. So you don't actually have to open up VCAST receiver to get the pen. It's just always displayed up here in the top right corner. If you're curious about more of the advanced settings under VCAST, we recommend going and watching our video on how to use AirPlay uh, with Mac devices and how to use VCAST receiver. So in overall, there's three ways that we can cast. We can do it uh, hardwired to do that hardwired casting connection. We can do it wirelessly through display. Again, that's good for guests, or we can use the VCAST receiver tool, uh, which is better when you're on the same network as the board.